This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. The Freitas Cloudview Farm opened up their fields on Tuesday to seniors from Moses Lake who are helping their community eat healthier. Moses Lake's Chamber of Commerce was recognized from the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives. Moses Lake soccer fell to Wenatchee in a shootout that came within inches of taking the win in overtime. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. The Freitas Cloudview Farm opened up their fields on Tuesday to seniors from Moses Lake who are helping their community eat healthier. The seniors also got some help from Seattle Middle School students who are over from the west side to get hands-on experience learning about farming and agriculture. Cloudview farmer and educator Carly Thompson talked about the program and how it helps both the farm and the community. So the Moses Lake Senior Center has a gleaning group that came out last year to collect extra carrots that we had grown and we had such a good experience having them come out that we planted an extra row or two of carrots for them. The Lakeside Middle School kids are here for an education week and they're staying at the teepees at Smokayam and they're just here to help out the gleaners and they dug 400 pounds of carrots that are being donated to Columbia Ridge Elementary School for their fundraiser. Cloudview Farm is a nonprofit organization and our mission is to promote healthy living and eating for people in Moses Lake, Soap Lake and Afreda and this seems like a great way to do that. So that's that's the motivation for us is to get all these people out here getting connected to their food and eating good food and having a good time together. In Afreda, Devin Higgins for iFiber One News. Moses Lake's Chamber of Commerce was recognized from the floor of the U.S. House of Representatives. Representative Dan Newhouse spoke from the floor to recognize the Chamber's 75th anniversary celebration. The Chamber is celebrating its anniversary during the annual Chamber Banquet on October 18th. Newhouse said the hard work of entrepreneurs and civic leaders has turned Moses Lake into a hub of economic activity. The growing engagement of Moses Lake businesses in trade, and exporting American products overseas shows the importance of access to international markets for the local economy. The representative said the natural beauty of the area attracts visitors, but it's the growing economy that attracts people to stay. Congratulations to Moses Lake on 75 years of fulfilling its mission to create and maintain a prosperous economy and quality lifestyle. For iFiber One News, this is Cameron Probert reporting. With just minutes left in overtime, Moses Lake Soccer thought they had beat rival Wenatchee as a kick from Morgan Scone ended up in the back of the net. The play was initially called a goal, but was overturned. The Chiefs, who ended up dropping the match in penalty kicks, didn't find out until after the game that the referee made the correct call, and Wenatchee goaltender Kenya Ortega made an incredible save. Neither team had a goal in the game, but Moses Lake had plenty of chances in the second half including another goal called back after Abby Rathbun was called offsides. Scone had two other chances late in the second half as one shot went wide left and another hit the crossbar. Chiefs goalie Abigail Rosenow came up with nine saves in the game, including five in the first half to keep Wenatchee off the board. But it was Wenatchee that came through in the shootout, scoring on four of five kicks and taking the 1-0 win. The Chiefs are now 2-2 two and two in Big 9 play, 3-5 and five overall, and face a winless Eisenhower team at Lions Field on Thursday. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One Sports. Even though technically it's fall, we've got some pretty nice days coming up here in the basin. Hi, Jeff Slakey, taking a look at the forecast from the iFiber One Weather Center. Clear skies for your Monday and 85. That continues into Tuesday and Wednesday with clear conditions and the low to mid 80s. Thursday, partly cloudy and 79. Clear skies on Friday into the weekend, the 60s. This look at the forecast is brought to you by Barry Motors. Located in Afreda, Wenatchee, and Moses Lake, Barry Motors is one great place place to buy a car. For iFiber One News, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.